Okay guys, uh, today I'm going to start my bridge. You know, come and hook the water up yesterday. Uh, she suggests the first two layers, I uh, just glue them. Don't try to put the, the mortar in them. That would be the base. I have some Gorilla Glue I bought for that purpose. So that's going to be the the first thing I do is pull this brick away and uh, use Gorilla Glue and glue them in place on the back side next to the wall and also underneath so they don't move. And that will be the base. They will never move. And then I'll start the mortar from there up. And uh, now I got water. I can clean behind myself as I go. And uh, Mace, what are you doing out here? Oh, she wants me to let her in my man cave. I'm coming, baby. Hang on. She likes staying her during the day because it gets so hot. And, uh, anyway, that's my pro That's my job for today. I've got all the feeding done. And, uh, I'm going to get at it. Okay, these bricks are in. There, we use glue on the pads. The, uh, it's called uh, Gorilla Glue Construction. We glue the back of them so they're glued to the wall. We glue the bottom so they stick to each other. We also glue the pads that they're sitting on. So when these set up, from this point on, we'll start using the mortar. This is our base. We're going to have our base. And uh, from this point on, we'll use mortar. Gonna let these set up for a little while. And I'm gonna be laying some brick out that I'm gonna be using. The problem is we have to cut brick. We don't have a really a, a really decent way to cut them. I'm using a grinder to just kind of put an indention on them, then tap it in. They usually break off pretty close. They're not completely accurate. So that's an issue we're running into right now. Uh, I'm not a bricklayer, so I'm not sure exactly how these guys cut these brick. I don't have a masonry blade. I've got some metal cutting blades I can use to probably will work. We'll see. All right. What I'll do now, I don't know what we do now, baby. I know it's hot in here. I know. You don't have to come in here. You're out there in the fan. It wants to be in here beside her papa. I'll turn the fan on us in here. Uh, I'll take a wet rag and kind of wipe that brick off. See that for us. That's not professional, guys. I'm not a professional. It's gonna look good though. And it don't, it don't, it shouldn't look professional. It needs to look like an old timer, <laughs> like I am, uh, back in the day. Uh, made him up some old brick and, and stuck them up on the wall. We have five layers. Uh, the bottom two are glued to the wall, and the top one is glued. I'll, do a, I'll glue another one past it, and about every three or four rows, I'll glue them to the wall. And uh, that'll. And also, I'm going to put some little clips screwed to the wall, stick it down in the brick. That'll help also keep them never want to fall over or whatever. You know, might come loose. And it's not the best mortar job in the world, so. Yeah, by a long shot. Anyway, I'm gonna get a wet rag and wipe them off, see how they look. Guys, I don't think it looks too bad. Uh, I can wipe it off again when it gets more dry. But uh, I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm let this, I still got some wet mortar in places I want it to dry. I'm gonna start making my mortar thicker now at this point, going on up. I'm uh, trying to get it all leveled. And I've just about got it there to where it'd be level across. And uh, what I'm having to do, I'm able to cut. I'm not a bricklayer. I'm not a bricklayer, so I'm having to cut a brick or two to make it so the little lines are not all together on each row. And I'm putting my brick up. I'm starting to hold one over here, come across it over here. 
At some point, I'll put a little short piece in the middle so I can try to have a hole in on this end here. And uh, I mean, tell you what, I've tried chipping them and I can't chip them without busting them up. And so what I've done, I've got a skill saw with a metal cutting blade on it. And, and I also got a grinder with a metal cutting blade and both those make smooth indentions. Then I try to chip away from at that point and make a, and I'll show you the next time I cut one how I'm doing it. So, Heidi, you ready to go in, baby? You'll go in and you'll go to the man cave. She won't leave me and it's hot out here. I'm gonna try to put her inside the man cave and it's cool with Macy. Okay, the way I'm doing it, see I'm staggering them. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm coming across and if I have an old one that's got old stuff on the edge, I put it down, I think it look good. Now, where I need to put a space in here, I'm making a mark, I lay it on top and get a, where to be even. And I get me a mark, that's where I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut this brick off right there at that mark. And it'll fit right down into here. So I'm not leaving, not worrying about mortar in between them, you know, on the horizontal. Mainly just the vertical coming up. And I'm going to probably start making my mortar a little bit thicker, uh, thicker between each brick layer. Be able to get up where you can see what's going on. I think it'll look better. I made it fairly thin down there, you know, not as thick. Still looks good. Yeah, I'm gonna cut that brick. And what I'll do, I'll lay, I'll do about three rows of brick, like, like lay them out and cut them and have them ready. Then I'll lay them on the floor here out of the way in order they go. Like this here layer here, once I get that cut, I'll lay it right down here. Then I'll go ahead, but before I do that, I'll put another layer across there, look at how they look, get my mark, cut them. Try to do about two or three rows at a time and I'll lay them in order they go. So when I'm ready to get my mix all mixed up here and I put my mortar on there, then I put this row on first, then I come mortar and I put the second row on. They'll already be cut and I don't have to worry about my mortar getting too too dry or anything like that. So I'm trying to do it like, like two to three rows at a time. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring it up to about right here uh maybe yeah probably my next row and i'm gonna put some clips in it tie it to this wall uh plus glue it i glue every third row to the wall and that's gonna make sure it don't want to try to ever you know fall or come over all right you see i'm cutting that brick cut it with a sear saw that kind of blade on it. It's made for metal, but it's cutting a brick. And I'll cut it on the back side and it'll be ready to go in place. I cut off. The fins is perfect. And uh and this piece here, it'll be sharp, and I can start it off in this corner for the next row. And I'll get the stagger. So it would go like so. And, uh, brick starting to get too far away from me, and I'm having to move over here to get them. I probably should move two or three rows over at a time. This brick here is a little bit different. It's going to fit in good. Uh, better not use it right there. Because my seam's not very far off. I'll throw it over here for a time. Baby. Yeah. As you can tell, Heidi, she got the fan blowing on her. She has to work with me. She can't go in the house and leave me. It's against her. Yeah, look there, and then we cut a piece right here. And the way we do that, just like we did a minute ago. I want to come to that edge. I'll put it up here like so. Get my pencil. I get a 
mark right here. That's where I'll cut it. Okay. And then that piece here will go right there. And this piece it won't be wasted. We'll start it. At some point we'll use it. I've taken my grinder and ground that off. And that should fit right in here. Let's check that out. Okay, I'm gonna take a breather for a minute and cool off a little bit and have a Gatorade. Then I'll make a mix my mortar up and slap it on. <laughs> slap it on. I'll cool off with her. A wet rag feels pretty good on your head. <laughs> I know one thing. When I come back out and start the next before I cut any more brick. I'm gonna wear a mask. <clears throat> that dust, all that brick dust, whoo! I got a fan blowing it away from me, but you still breathe some of that stuff up. <clears throat> I'm hot. About to lose my voice and I'm hot. So I'm probably gonna cut this off. I may show, it, show you after I get the mortar on there before I go in, because when I finish it up, I'm gonna go in Take a shower, fix for something to eat. Cool off. I wanted a video this morning, I went out to feed. Little Cuddles expects lap time. She come running to the fence. Well, I said, I gotta feed y'all first. I had to let the parents out. They all went in the woods, fed them. Fed Ivan and Miracle. Fed Moses, his family went down, fed. Oh, I did a good a good one down there with Billy. Billy and Granny was on one side of the fence over behind Stephanie's little garden. And Kim's goats were all up here on this side of the pasture. So I stopped and throwed them some cubes, just scattered them as far as I could throw them. So they got to look for them. And I took off down there where Billy and Granny were on the other side of the other little fence and just poured theirs in a heap. So they got all of it. You might say all of it this morning by themselves. Uh, I come back and Kim's goat still looking for those cues. <laughs> anyway, everything got fed up this morning and uh, went down, Bree needed me to feed the cows so she could feed Amy. So I lured them off down to the other end of the pasture down there to feed Moses and all his people. Come back up though, fed the little goats and let the chickens out. Little cuddles, had to get in my lap. So I'm having to sit there and pet her. Just looking around, having a good time. <laughs> I must sit there 15 minutes and I gotta go to work, baby. I gotta go to work, it's gonna get hot here in a minute. And I finally was able to make her get down and leave me alone. She's such a sweetie. All right, I'm gonna finish my drink. Mix up that mortar. Try to finish up that here for a while. Catch you guys later. Okay, I will mortar real heavy on top of this row here. I'll start mortaring heavy. I have these laid in order that they go. Like this row back here goes on first. And then the, I'll mortar again. Then this row will go on. Mortar again. Then this row will go on. And these little clips, I'll fill that full of mortar that long screw down it, then I'll screw this to the wall. Plus I'm getting blue. So it should be really stable to the wall. Uh, and I'll finish these, I'm going in. Okay. All right, I'm fixing to top this out. Okay, that row's perfect. Uh, I used quite a bit of mud on it, filled in a lot of those holes. The next row I'm going to glue, plus put mortar. So I'm going to mix up some more mortar. It goes pretty fast. I think one bag only does like 25 for 30 brick. So it goes pretty quick when you put it on a pretty thick. Okay, I got the glue on these brick. Got the mortar up there, it's ready to go. I'll place this row on. You know, make sure they're level. I ran put the, the glue on it and I'd shove it to the wall. Pack it down good. 
and uh, get the mortar mix on here. Now I'll push it down where it's level. Alright guys, that's as far as I'm going today. Uh, I personally think it looks pretty good for it to be old timey. I think it looks old timey. <laughs> I think it's old timey. And uh, I'm hot. I'm dirty. I'm sweaty. I'm going to cool off for a little bit before I go in that air conditioned house. And uh, I got the fan on this drying us a little bit, so it ought to dry out pretty fast between the heat and the fan. I doubt if I'll do any more tomorrow. I may go up another five, six rows tomorrow. Probably will. Let's see, I came up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight or nine rows today. It's like about nine rows. Whatever, eight or nine. That's, my eyes are blurry. <laughs> blurry, I blurry at. Uh, it's pretty well level. Got a little bit of a sink in right there, which we can fix that easy with extra mortar in the middle when we come back up with another row. The ends are level with each other. Uh, I've got the glue behind them and some on top, kind of make sure they hold together good with that board. I got them two little metal clips uh, with the screws going down into, into the mortar. That should help hold it also. And as far as we're going to get today, May, I may come back late this evening when it's cool. I am so thankful I got water. So easy to clean up. Oh, uh, anyway, and get a drink even. Fill up my zero jar and just sit here and chug a load. Uh, but I may come back this evening and put up you know, a few more rows. We'll see how it goes. Catch you guys later. Hope you enjoy this. Hey guys, I just had a shower. I had a shower this afternoon, watched TV for a while to eat. Went out and did some stuff out in the back with Ivan and moved some stuff around. Got sweaty, I come in, took another shower. And I'm gonna close this video off for the night. And I'm gonna just close this one off and get it out to you. Uh, thank you for the prayers for all the uh, for the rain. Uh, so many people are sending prayers and stuff. Thank you so much. Uh, it is getting scary for Lester up there at Longhorn. Lester, it's getting scary here because uh, neither one of us have any grass. Speak of, I got a little bit more than what he's got uh, in the back pasture. In the front pasture, I, I don't have nothing. So I'm trying to feed Billy and him everything I can. And uh, just have to wait and see how, how things go. Anyway, thank you so much, and I'm going to get this out to you. Hope you guys have a great night. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button. Hey, share it with somebody. <laughs> Thank y'all. I love you guys.